Right along with the variety of side dishes we have this time around here at KCTS 9 Cooks is the, the variety of people, the walks of life, ages, backgrounds, and that's what makes this so much fun. It's just like one of a kind viewing here at your public television station and uh, by the, the phone's indication and the activity online, you're liking this one. KCTS 9 Cooks on the side. Roasted cauliflower over brown butter cauliflower puree. Sam Hulick of Seattle. You just, okay, stereotyping here, you just don't look like a guy that would have a great side dish idea with cauliflower. Uh. I, 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 I tend to look toward the women, more women with an idea, but here you are. A lot of guys cook for my you. family, we love to cook. Cool. Okay. Yeah. My brother and I actually had uh, a similar dish at a restaurant, we tried to re recreate it, and uh, eventually found something that worked. Yeah. Well, cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Boring yeah. often for a lot of us. It's a side dish yes. where most don't like it, but you're going to you're gonna create some magic here. There you go. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Let's so make magic. First, we will surgically separate the two halves. Does it kind of look like a brain? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just shave off the uh, florets. Just oh, the okay. That's a pretty nifty way of doing that. Yeah. So you just want the tiny florette mm -hmm. parts. What's the best way to store cauliflower once we get it home? In the, in the fridge. Exactly. Just in the fridge. Would mm -hmm. you put it in a bag or? Put it in a bag. Okay. And then I just usually break up the pieces into a bowl. Right this would be a fun way to get your kids involved. Mm -hmm. And what was the need for this recipe in your in your world, or how we come across it? Um, just. Loved it at the restaurant and thought we would try it for the holidays. Okay. Then just a touch of olive oil. I love roasted cauliflower. It just gets that nuttiness yeah, to it that you don't find any other way you cook it. And when we put brown it's butter so in it, we ramp simple. up the nuttiness. Ooh, yeah. Well, like many of our viewers, I'm, I'm sitting here like I've never had roasted cauliflower. So, I don't pepper. think. So. You're going to love it. Okay. Just, uh, I'm watching carefully. Is it getting Is that cayenne? No, a reason to get you that can put a little pinch of cayenne in it. But uh, this is paprika. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then just give it a light little toss. And onto a baking sheet. There we go. And into an oven about 350. Okay. I'll shake them out and separate them. So in the other half, and uh, the leftover bits, mm -hmm. just rough chop. So none of that goes to waste. Exactly. You're, You're just cutting this bit. up. There's no this into effort this into it. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Oh yeah. Make yeah. it simple. Make yeah. It no effort at all. All right. Making messes. <laughs> yeah. Cauliflower is very messy. It is. But that's okay. Signs of creativity that great in the if you kitchen. have a pet around that can <laughs> help you out with that. And just a cup of water. Okay, so cauliflower and water. And I'm put this on simmer the till it's stove mushy. to boil. Okay. Okay. Now the fun part is browning the butter. Just a generic cauliflower. We're thinking like a generic side dish for just about everything. Or what, what's your preference? I'll eat anything you put in front of me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and cook the butter until it's really nice and brown. Nice and it's brown. little brown bits in it. Okay. So we want to do this slowly, though. We don't want to burn it. Yeah, sometimes I'll put it on in the beginning uh, when I start the prep and mm -hmm. just... Kind of keep an eye on really it. Know. Is this salted or unsalted? This butter? is unsalted. I like to use unsalted because then you can really you know exactly uh, how much salt is yeah. in there. And yes. um, when you brown it, it really concentrates all the flavors, and it can get a little bit too much. Many of our viewers often watch these programs and just think, "Well, all these viewers are just so talented. They must be just like chefs undercover." What's a day for you? What's normal? What's I work? work at a law firm. I'm a mm -hmm. legal secretary. Okay. See. Just an everyday guy who just likes to cook when he's got time. And exactly. Look what he's doing with cauliflower here. Good and, uh, and my family, like when I visit my family, uh, the boys basically take the women out of the kitchen and take over. Wow. Okay, so what do you serve this uh, you bet on they the do. side of? Um, usually the holidays, um, like you know your big turkey dinner, 
one of our side dishes. Mm -hmm. um, I've also served it with uh, roast pork, mm. which was a nice combination. So this is the roasted cauliflower over brown butter cauliflower puree. Yes. Have you always been a f come on, be honest now. Have you always been a fan of cauliflower? I have. I was that strange kid that liked every every vegetable except for lima beans. Ah. <laughs> My one objection has always been lima beans. Do you eat them now? I'll eat them to be polite. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you got our interest on this recipe. I'm married to a lima bean hater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right with him on that. And okay. with the, the roasted cauliflower, how long in the oven with that? Right around 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Depends on how moist so it is. You want it kind of crunchy. And your heat, your heat on the oven was? 350. 350. Do we need okay. to have a look in here? That's looking pretty good. I think we can go ahead and get started on that. Okay, let me bring that to you since... Okay. Ah, that. Here we go. So this is the cauliflower that went in with the water earlier. Actually, yeah. it's a magic cauliflower. Yeah. The leftover go. after you... And and this is starting to brown up part. nicely. You can tell when it gets really foamy, it's just about at the point. See how foamy that is? Isn't it pretty? It smells fantastic too. It smells like nuts. You know, there are those recipes, Carol. Carol you you got to go with the butter. The butter yep, works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know? what makes life worth living. Once in a while, it's okay. You know, we always <laughs> got to watch what we're eating. Yeah, this isn't something you serve every right. day. Is this almost ready? That looks good. I think we should. Okay. Jump it in there and Put it in here? get started, yeah. I should have warned you about that. It's gonna let's get all this yummy brown stuff off the bottom of this. And that's skillet. okay, the brown butter. Oh, yeah. Did you burn it? Yeah. Or did you do anything wrong? Yeah. Okay. It needs to be really brown and toasty to it is brown and, and toasty. And up to now, what are we watching really for that we don't want to do? Um there's a very fine line between brown and black. Okay. <laughs> so don't leave the kitchen on this one. Right. And then we just blend it on up. I love this. I always did it with a blender previously, and it, this is so much less work having to, you know, move it from one container to another. Mm -hmm. You can just do it right in the pot where everything started. And you can do this either um, as smooth or as uh, right. chunky as you like. I like it on the smooth side for that contrast between the smooth than the uh, crunchy from the roasted. I think that's good. And Carol, if you would get the Okay, I will oven. get the stuff from the oven. Just, yes, got it. Comes the finished roasted cauliflower. You know, be kind of, you know, as you scoop this, this would be kind of, you know, we like to joke in the kitchen. Come on, kids, oatmeal's ready. Have a yeah. bite of that. <laughs> it does have that little Surprise, bit. surprise. Kids, your first taste of cauliflower. What do you think? More to cauliflower than just steaming cauliflower as a side dish. Mm -hmm. Sam Hulick, Capitol Hill, with an answer. Oh, careful, that's hot. That's a little warm. <laughs> Here you go. Right on the top there. Don't forget us over Oh, that's right. You want some potatoes. <laughs> Beautiful. And if you want to, you can just give it a little touch of extra. I would do that. Color. I would do this. 
There you go. You know, and you look at that. I don't think that's cauliflower. That was sitting on my plate. It, it just looked like something fun to eat and something that's going to have a lot of great taste. Look at that, you guys. I love cauliflower. <laughs> I wouldn't notice the cauliflower. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's that nutty. Nothing that I expected. Mm -hmm. Again, I wouldn't know that was cauliflower. Um, if somebody has a challenge with cauliflower, this would be a great recipe. It's very good, and uh, it works well, and side idea of a cauliflower. You I know, think this would be nice spread on a little toast point or something. Yeah. Too. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. very good. And what an answer to just, again, just steamed cauliflower. There's more to life, you guys. Okay? Roasted cauliflower over brown butter cauliflower puree. Good recipe from our friends up at uh, Capitol Thank Hill. You. Look at them standing proud here. Sam Hewlett. You did it, my, sir, my friend. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. <laughs> Have a look at that cookbook. It's exciting. It's, it's on the side. KCTS 9 Cooks. You can have that cookbook, you can have that DVD here in the program you're watching at 1-800-443-1999. Website always, yeah, have a look at kcts9.org, okay? See, you did great. This is good. <laughs>